being part of the online broadcast summer camp, uh, one of the three options is actually making your own internet radio station. Uh, there's a really awesome um, software, a website out there that does this. Um, it's called Spreaker.com. Um, also, do know there is an iPad, a iPhone, and Android app uh, for this. But I suggest using a laptop or computer because there's a few more uh, options for you. First thing you want to do is go to Spreaker.com and from there you can log in with your Facebook but I suggest going with the sign up without using Facebook option. Click there and from here you're going to make an account so I'm going to make a new account just to kind of walk you through this. Um, give them your name um, and if you're cautious on giving your full name or if your parents are cautious uh, sometimes uh, what I suggest doing is giving your first name and then half the letters or maybe the first one or two syllables of your last name. Uh, if you can remember that, uh, that, that could be helpful um, with privacy. But type in your name, type in the Gmail that was given. I'm going to use um, I'm going to use one of my alias uh, emails, I think I did that right, AC Lions, and then create a password, go to sign up, and from here it's going to welcome you, and um, it's going to walk you through a few things with trying to personalize your Spreaker account. Uh, you can quickly just go to OK, I'm done, you can see I got the email verification there from speak, uh, Spreaker and it is pronounced Spreaker. Okay, once you do that, uh, it brings you to your profile. Uh, from here, um, your options, this is your home screen, has a lot of cool stuff once you start personalizing and spend time with it. Um, and that's one of the things, you gotta spend time with it. Play around, uh, click around, look at the different options that are available, go to other people's Spreaker accounts and listen to them. Um, but when you are ready to create, and that's what I want to concentrate on, um, you would go right here where the microphone is. Um, if you need to edit your profile, you can go here. We're just dealing with the free account, so you don't have to go pro. That costs $20 a month. Uh, go to create. And what you want to do, if you already have a audio recording that's you doing an announcement, you can go to upload if you just want to share it with people. But um, for our purposes, we're not going to be doing that. You're going to go to this broadcast option right here, the option to the left. You'll click here. And first thing you want to do is name your broadcast. So give a title to your episode. Uh, we're going to call this uh, Testing Spreaker. And we'll go and click Next. Now right now it has a default name for my uh, radio show. It's called The David Denham Show. Uh, you can change that. Uh, that's in the options here. Uh, you can go and find where you can change the name of the show. But um, the title of this episode of this show is going to be called Testing Spreaker. Uh, you can go back and you can change it later. It's highly customizable. Um, hit next. Okay, from here, what I want to do is quickly break down the DJ console. Now this should pop up, if this pops up, which normally it does because we're, it, it uses Adobe Flash, you would hit allow. That means you're allowing it to use your microphone. Um, broadcast live means that when you hit record, if somebody has the link to what you're doing, they can hear it as you're talking, as you're playing music. If you want to record a new podcast, this means you record it, you save it, and then you send it to people. So either, either option is a good option. Um, it's all about what you need to do at that time. Uh, broadcast Live is the option that we're going to be using for the school year. There is a microphone. This is the microphone level. Um, you can see as my voice is uh, going louder, and stopping, and lower, you can see the levels, the light uh, L and R levels. Um, deck 1 and Deck 2. This is what makes Spreaker really awesome because it's like a DJ console. 
if you want to add music. Um, so, you know, you can do like some news broadcasts or just welcome your, your people who are listening and then you can play music for them. Um, now, to do that, you want to go to where it says playlist, hit add. This is going to bring up this console right here. Um, these are just sound effects which you can add to right here. What you want to do is upload and then you can pull music from your computer. So you can pull music from your iTunes and different places. That uh, brings you to this right here. So when you click on upload, open music library, brings you here. And from here, you can click on upload. And what you want to upload is music. And it brings up this box. And you go on your computer and find the music. Um, for the sake of time, I will quickly go to my music. I'll click on my iTunes. I will click on Creed, band from the 90s. Um, and then one of their songs. Let's do one of their popular radio songs, Higher. Click Open. And then it will upload that song to the website and your website is able to hold a lot of songs I think uh, it can hold 10 hours worth of music okay saying it's done so we can go back to this tab let's see so we have music we have higher which is there Alright, I'm going to close that out. And what we're going to want to do now is go back to Broadcast Live. Make sure we're there. And we're going to close this out. Alright, now uh, you can now add that music. Let's see, Explore, Search, uh, the latest. There we go. You can go latest and see the latest things that were uploaded. My hires right here. Or if you had a lot of music that's in here, you can just go to search and type in the name. But we're going to add what I just put higher to the playlist. Sometimes it takes a short second. And you can add many songs to this playlist. And then you just drag and you can put deck one. And then if you wanted the next song, like if you wanted to transition quickly from one song to the next, you would go from this one to playing it on here. So if I had a second song here, I can drop it there. If you hit play, you hear the music, you can control the volume. When you hit live, none of this starts until you hit the red record button. I mean, I'm sorry, the red broadcast button. You would hit this. It was, it's going to say creating, starting the stream. Here is the URL that you can send to people to listen to it live. So you can copy and paste this right here. You can send it to me. You can send it to your friends and family. And they can hear everything you're saying live and whatever music you play. They can hear it live. Now, the important part is being able to save what you did. Because you have to send it to me, and you're, you're not going to want to delete anything that you make. I mean, unless it's something that you want to redo, like it didn't come out right. So I hit stop, and then it closes out that episode on the radio broadcast. Um, okay. Testing speaker, this is it right here. Um, you can go to edit, you can change the title, descriptions, you can customize it right here. If you want to share it, you can share it on Facebook, some different places, or if you just want to share the, um, the URL, it should have, let's see, I thought they had a URL option just right here. Oh, by email, there we go. You can share by email, and it will bring up your email box. Um, let's see, it should be just a very short URL. Let's go to episodes. I guess I just gotta play around with it a little bit. There's this episode, and click share.
And usually the link, why am I not seeing the link? What am I overlooking? Can embed, that would be um, if you wanted to put it into a website, which is what we're not going to do. You can do that, but what we're not going to do, or not need to do. Um, share by email, but also your Spreaker account. Um, if you go back, click on your dashboard, and go to your shows, like this show right here, you can um, just share it with people. So, oh, here it is, right here. Um, right down here, that little arrow. You can copy and paste the uh, URL for testing Spreaker. Okay, uh, spend some time, play around with it. Uh, as you're having trouble, you can email me and um, I'll help you out. If I need to make a different or another screencast for this, I will. Um, play around with it as you complete this quest. Have fun with it, most of all. Put in your music. Uh, remember, there is an iPhone and, I, and, a, uh, and an app uh, for the iPad uh, that you can have a lot of fun with. Okay. Uh, remember, always email if you're running into issues with this.